Pro Days, guys, they are all happening. We're in the middle of it. USC's Caleb Williams, he balled out earlier this week. And today, all eyes will be on Michigan's J.J. McCarthy, one of the more intriguing quarterback prospects in this year's draft. He put up some solid numbers in Ann Arbor. But the big number that stands out is the record 27 and 1 as a starter. I don't care what you think about quarterback wins. It is a stat. It should be, I guess. But his only loss coming in the finals of the 2022 college football playoffs against TCU. So how much do you value that extremely impressive record at Michigan when it comes to J.J. McCarthy's success in the NFL, Peter? Because how does that translate to the big leagues? Mm -hmm. The positives are he went 27-1 and in college. I think he lost two games his entire life is the stat that I've heard. This guy doesn't lose football games, and it wasn't like his team was number one and they were just a locomotive the whole way through. His team has had college upsets. His team has gone into different places that have been unfriendly environments and has won. Mm -hmm. And then he has won under you know, crazy situations like his coach being temporarily suspended for a game in Penn State, and they said, go, figure this thing out. I know you're on demand and you don't have your head coach. And Connor Stallions is doing whatever he's doing, but you've got to go figure this out and lead us. The, the stuff that I look at is the fact that his coach, who has seen every quarterback from Andrew Luck to, you know, you named Colin Tom Brady Kaepernick. to Colin Kaepernick, is like, this is the greatest Michigan quarterback who's ever played, and this is the guy that I want to go to war with. That's Jim Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's an age-old question. Do college wins matter? Do NFL wins matter? Yeah, exactly. Matter. I think they matter. Of course they matter. This guy went into against Alabama and beat him in a college football playoff where they were down 17 to 13, and he was the dude leading him along the way and made a lot of big plays. Say this. Jaden Daniels is the hot name and is like, well, you know, Jaden Daniels is the sure thing. He's got the freak athleticism. He's the Heisman Trophy. Jaden Daniels had one good year. Like, Jaden Daniels came from Arizona State and then blew up this year at LSU, and his team didn't win, and they weren't great. And he won the Heisman, and yet everyone as a prospect looks at him as the individual and is like, well, that's everything we need. This is the exact opposite, where J.J. McCarthy went 27-1 and yeah. over the course of his career, never had that game where he threw for 400 yards, never had that highlight where it was like, that's the pass. The question is, what do you prefer? Do you want the one that is maybe a little bit overnight success, but is coming in hot, or do you want the guy that over the long period of time never had that breakthrough crazy highlight or that crazy moment? Um, I, I would almost go with the latter. I know he's been through everything, and I know that he has seen everything, and he has led his team. I think it matters. I think 27-1 and is a real stat, and national champion is a real stat, and 15-0 and in last season is a real stat, and the fact that he is so beloved by everyone in that building, including his head coach, yeah. who has seen everybody, it matters. So to me, it's a major plus point, but I could be all alone on this. And I hear you, and to your point, you're making the winning plays down the stretch. You're doing some of those things to get over the hump. You talked about kind of who he is as a person and the leadership and the intangibles that everybody talk about, talks about when they mention J.J. McCarthy's name. And you say all of that for me to just say, no, I don't care and it doesn't matter. Yes, it's nice that he won 27-1. and That's all fine and perfect, but I'm not basing or looking at that and saying, you know what, because because he won in college, we're going to draft him high, and he's going to come to our team. He's instantly going to make us a winner. I think you go to Michigan, and to your point, yes, they've had to win through some adversity. They've been through ups and downs. There's a ton of talent on their team, and they talk about it all the time. One first offense. They had so many guys. How many guys did you say they had at the 18 combine? Guys 18, at the combine. 18, 18 guys, guys at the combine. combine. A record. And that's the talent that he was surrounded with. So. I think this would be more of a stat if they weren't able to win with the amount of talent that they had. As you mentioned, Kentucky, who just got upset in the tournament, a team that has a ton of talent, NBA guys, every year, and they always seem to fall short in the tournament. I look at this for J.J. McCarthy, and you look around the league, and you would say Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the NFL. He was 13 and 16 in college. He <laughs> went the number 10 pick, and now he's won multiple Super Bowls. Josh Allen, a guy who had Wyoming, he was 16 and 10. He went seven, and he was able to win a lot of games. So I look at these guys, and they didn't win a ton in college, but when you're looking at them and you're looking at their arm strength and some of the things that they did on the college football field, you look at your offense, you're saying, you know what? I think that translates mm -hmm. well. I think they have some of those intangibles, some of those things, the game decisions and the game management and game-changing type of plays that you say, you know what? We get them in our system. We get them around our guys, and they're going to figure out a way to win games. So I think it's a nice stat. It's something say, it's good to like, say. When you, when you like, rank it, because like, we show the resume at the combine. It's like yeah. 27. It's the first thing everyone sees. Yeah. But does an NFL 
No. GM even care like or is That's, it like height weight no. it is the that, best start for any quarterback though to start their college career in 10 seasons like in 10 years mm. so it's like that is something it's there cool. yeah. yeah it, it I, is I it's think, cool I think you're onto something what bothers me about it is it's always the first thing that comes mm -hmm. up all right and it's great that he did that I'm not I'm not it's awesome it's 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 a nice thing as a prospect and if it was going to be some day two guy or whatever fine we're talking about the top 10 pick we mm -hmm. won't be talking about top five picks so if you were drafting that high, I need your college record to be like fourth. I need freak, uh, stud, uh, splash throws, arms. That all has to come first. Yeah. It's like I remember very well when Daniel Jones was coming out and the Giants went for him. Every single person who talked about him would say, what a hard worker. What? I'm like, good for you. Everybody's a hard worker. Are you a crazy talent? It's not like I'm saying that's not good. I'm just saying it can't be the first thing out of your mouth. It's like... You're in a relationship with someone and they have a nice family. That's really oh. important, but it's not first. Oh. How's your relationship? How's your chemistry? How's that? Then we'll get to that. And here's the problem. I've really come a long way. I used to think, winner, winner, winner. Yeah. I, I've gotten away from it. And here's the reasons why. Bring them up. Like, the, these are your guys. Here are your college winners, guys. Just look at them. These are the all-time winningest college players ever. I love these guys. I really respect how they handle themselves and how they're professionals. Come on, it's, that's a tough list. Desmond Ritter has already been traded out of Atlanta. Yeah, it's gone. And, and if Andy Dalton is, is your de facto champion on this list, I love Andy Dalton. You want him in your locker room. These are the guys who are coming out. They won so many games. They're a winner, they're a winner, they're a winner. I know, but like Kellen Moore doesn't have a laser arm. I want someone who has a laser arm draft. But none of, those guys, I, 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 I like none of those guys were even in the consideration for top 10. Like, no one, uh -uh. Ken Dorsey wasn't considered a top 10. Maker. This guy's actually getting that buzz, too. I think the I NFL's. Know. Smart enough to know, like they're not like gobsmacked by the winning college record. But you're right, Desmond Ritter. I read that stat 38 times during. That's the all you read. Yeah, and, all and, and to Jason's point, listen, Mahomes' terrible college record. Jared Goff, terrible college record. Kirk Cousins, highly average. Lamar, nothing special. Mm -hmm. uh, Patrick Mahomes ended his college career losing six of his last eight games. He was 0-12 against ranked teams. We just had the Super Bowl. Mm. <laughs> it, it was Brock Purdy versus Patrick Mahomes. So, like, guys, just look at the results. You don't want to kick J.J. McCarthy in the shins because you love him and you love what he stands for. But, my God, if my team is going to draft him six overall and the first thing out of your mouth is, he won at Michigan! I need more than that. I need a lot more than that. Yeah, I mean, Stetson Bennett, 29 and three in college, won two national championships. It is a different situation going from college to the NFL. I mean, when you look at J.J. McCarthy at Michigan and the Big Ten and the competition that he faced outside of Ohio and I guess Penn State too, there really wasn't a ton there. I mean, he's gonna have so much more competition at this level and uh, Peter, you talked about the fact that there were a combine record 18 Wolverines out there. That just talks about the level of talent on that roster. Mm -hmm. And when you're a high draft pick, you're not going to a team that is stacked with talent. You're going to a team with holes in. And I feel like we had this conversation with Trevor Lawrence when he came out after all of his success at Clemson. And he's so used to winning. Now he's going to Jacksonville. How is he going to do uh, when he's losing right. these games? And mm -hmm. then it was like he nobody even knew what the Urban Meyer experience was going to be on top of all of that you're gonna face adversity you can't just rely on a run game which McCarthy had an incredible one an incredible offensive line there are so many quarterbacks that get drafted high and they go to teams without an offensive line and they have to be under pressure and of course mm -hmm. quarterbacks under pressure especially rookie quarterbacks under pressure you're under all sorts of pressure physical mental <laughs> all of it the fans I mean this this is a totally different arena. Okay. Full stop. Tough, 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 tough segment for JJ McCarthy. Are we not giving enough credit? I just I, look like he. What, what would you rather have him been twenty and eight, and then like? I, I, he, no, I'd rather be more talented. Yeah. Here's the problem. Yeah. I, that I, if one you pull up his like official on official draft profile, like yeah. here is the NFL, the league's profile. Yeah. It's just win, 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 win. I wish it was. Rhett, enigmatic quarterback lacking the measurable. So first word is enigmatic. That's mystery. I don't want that. I want measurables in the top ten. Yeah. I don't think it's too much to ask. Came Back in, look, measurables, I'll go to the next guy. Combine, everyone thought he was going to be like 205, 210. He came at 220. Like yeah. He threw well. He did all the drills. He's doing everything he can. And I, you know, Great I'm answers, to, great interviews. Yeah. Awesome in he interview. has every answer he's got. Checks he's every so box, polished. guys. He does. I, I want mean, splash throws, Peter. Yeah, and we'll see him today. Yeah. That's right? what like, we want to. Let's see if he can make them. And to your point, 
as long as he checks the other boxes, the winning stat is awesome. It's great. But just to your point, it can't be the first thing. The fourth and there's thing. a team that may fall in love with all the things. I think his sample size is smaller, and that's the thing that hurts him, where it's just I'll, like, I'll say we didn't throw a ton yeah. of passes. Yeah, right. We don't watch every Michigan game. Yeah. And, you know, there are Michigan people who are like, you don't, like, I've had many people in my life, Michigan fans, and whether yeah. it be in media, they're yeah, like, go you don't get it. This guy's different. <laughs> like, in the third down, big spot, like, he always makes the play. There's yeah. an intangible there, too, that his leadership, like, everyone rallies Which around him. big. And it's big, and that's what Brady had. Brady went in the sixth round. You know, like, it's, yeah. it's, I remember really Alabama fans saying the same stuff about A.J. McCarron. Yeah. I got it. He, yep. he in the yeah. spot, like, he'll draw. make the throw. <laughs> I like, got it. I, I feel like this has been a very negative for J.J. McCarthy. No, I, He it's should not. go somewhere. He should be drafted. He has a great career. Yeah. When I hear fifth overall pick, that is I a got lot. you. It's a lot. Yeah. You just don't and, want it to be on the wins. If you're saying all the other things yeah. make him a number four totally. pick or whatever it is, go for it. Bring him in. Let him go lead the team. John, 